Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a wonderful festive season. Today I am bringing to you guys my 2017 favourites. I did recently upload a most used designer bags, designer SLGs. So to prevent, you know, doubling up on things, I have not mentioned those items in this video. If you are curious to what those items are, I will put the link to the video in the info bar. Basically with this favourites video, I just wanted to feature items that I've been loving. So with this one, I really wanted to incorporate not just luxury items, but you know, um, clothing, tech, beauty, you know, bags, accessories, every everything to do with 2017. Um, and instead of incorporating my most used bags, I thought I would share with you guys some of the bags that, although I haven't reached for them as frequently as the ones that I mentioned in my other video, they are items that I'm just so, so happy to have found this year and I'm so glad that I, you know, I have in my collection. That's how I'm going to structure this video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is June. I do hope you check out the rest of my channel and the rest of my videos and certainly subscribe if you would like if this is you know your cup of tea and hit the notification bell if you haven't already and if you are a fellow subby welcome back thank you so much for joining me so I'm gonna start off with bags and as I said they are the bags that I have loved um, loved loved and I'm just really really happy to have found this year whether it be it's, it was for an amazing price whether it be it was a holy grail item I have four bags to share with you obviously I have bought I've bought quite a lot of items this year and I just really can't feature every single one of them so I've limited it down to these four bags the first one is obviously my Chanel CC delivery. I mean, hello, look at her. She is absolutely gorgeous. I have finally sold the other one, so she is the only one in my collection right now. And um, it's just been like a unicorn item that I have struggled to find, especially at the right price point. I, I mean, I overpaid on this and given the loss on my other bag, you sort of have to add it to the price of this, which means that this did cost me quite a lot, but you know, whatever. <laughs> What's what's done is done. I just I still love her because she's just beautiful. I just I can't even comprehend how stunning she is. So I'm just so glad to finally have her in my collection and I just I couldn't be happier. So that is that one. The next bag I wanted to share is my burgundy flap. This I got at the start of the year um, and this is just such a beautiful, beautiful bag. I wore it repetitively in the first half of the year, especially, you know, during um, fall, autumn. It was just the perfect bag. I can't get over how gorgeous the color of this bag is and like the puffiness of the quilts. It's just beautiful and it's in this like really squishy leather that is just so amazing. It's just, you sort of just want to squish it all the time. It's like a softer lambskin compared to the, you know, the typical lambskin. Um, and they do do that, you know, do change up the, the leathers every, you know, now and then. Um, and as you can see, um, this is with the ruthenium hardware, which means the CC lock is a little bit different as you can see there, but it's still a Chanel classic flap. Um, but yeah, it is just a smidge different and I, I just love the color of this. I actually would really love another one in like with the gold hardware. I know I'm crazy. If I stumble upon that, I might consider selling this. I just would love to get one in gold hardware. So that's that one. Um, and a lot of you guys have contacted me about that bag, asking to let you know when I'm when I sell it. If I do sell it, which I'm not looking to sell at the moment, I will definitely let you guys know. But for the time being, yeah, uh, it's staying in my collection. The next two bags that I might just join together are these two vintage bags. And the reason I'm sharing them with you is because. Uh, lately, especially, I've been on a vintage bag kick and these two are easily my favorite finds of the year um, in terms of, you know, vintage bags. This one is the Dior Saddlebag with the Troda print and obviously, as you guys remember, this was completely inspired by um, Mel Soldera, who is one of my absolute favorite YouTubers. She's gorgeous and she's amazing and you should check her out if you haven't. What is wrong with you? Go and follow her. But yeah, this is the saddlebag. Um, just beautiful. It matches everything. Like even with this outfit now, it matches so perfectly. It's in the trader print, which you guys know has gone back into fashion like nothing else. And yeah, it's just a really cool um, print. And it's an inexpensive way of trying the trader print without having to spend like thousands and thousands of dollars on a new Dior like trader print bag. So yeah, I would highly recommend it. And the 
the saddle bag is just, you know, it's just cute. I've also renamed it the liver bag because it actually does look like a liver. <laughs> uh, and then the other one which I'll briefly mention is this Gucci camera bag, another vintage piece that I picked up for $200. It's a pretty plain bag. It's, it's just got the Gucci canvas GG monogram print there. Um, and then just got the GG logo with the black and uh, with the red and green ribbon. And then the interior is pretty plain. This is what it looks like. It's I've just got like a, um, my go pass lip gloss and headphones so that is that all right so those are my bags i might just quickly move on to shoes now because that is my next favorite thing obviously first one are these um vintage chanel pointed heels i also bought these secondhand and i featured this i think in my pre-love luxury haul just beautiful um they have like a mesh detail and a cc there i've worn them out once and they were you know perfectly comfortable i got them in a size 36 and a half um which is probably a little bit loose because it is a sling back i'm a true 36 and a half um and yeah they're just amazing oh i got something on the side my god that is so annoying but anyways i love these they're beautiful i love how pointed they are and I just, I can't believe I was able to pick them up because they're from like the 90s maybe um, and you know they're in amazing condition and they fit me perfectly and they look like a million times better than some of the shoes that are available at Chanel right now and I picked them up for 300 Australian dollars which is awesome for Chanel shoes love it the two other pairs of shoes that I want to share with you are you know high street um, so you don't need to worry about the price here the first one are these um, Tony Bianco mules I've mentioned this so many times during winter autumn um, because these were basically the shoes that I wore day in day out during autumn and winter they're just my favorite and I have worn these so much more than my actual like Gucci loafers and I, I don't know why that is. I just actually think that they look a little bit better. I contemplated getting the same pair um, in the Gucci ones but I was like well why do that? These are working perfectly and I just feel like I don't need to spend you know nearly $1,000 just to get it in the Gucci brand. So. Yeah, I've loved these ones. They're also in leather and they just come with like a, I think it's faux fur trim. So it doesn't go all the way in, but it's actually perfect for Australian winter because it's never really that cold here. So those are the first ones. And then the second ones are my favorite summer shoes and they are actually the slides here and they are from Zara. These are so amazing. They're just like the perfect slides. They are effortless and minimal and they're just perfect for summer. They're like the updated version of the Birkenstock which I would try to wear but I always felt like it didn't look as it didn't look right on me it just felt too chunky whereas these are like the perfect alternatives um, for me especially because I have quite like narrow feet and they don't look as overwhelming I just love them and um, yeah could not recommend them enough and they were only like $45 from Zara so those are that um, I think that's it for shoes now I just wanted to mention some other accessories um, for jewelry I've been loving statement earrings for example these ones are from ASOS they're sort of just like rectangular foiled metal and they're just beautiful a few other faves are these ones these are from mango they're sort of just like drop earrings. They're just really, really cute, just like that. Again, would look good with this outfit. Um, these ones are also from ASOS, kind of similar style, but they do really, really remind me of the Tiffany & Co ones, which are you know 10 times the price, but obviously the Tiffany ones are silver, whereas this is plastic. So I really do want to get the Tiffany ones, but I'm... Um, I'm still thinking about it um, because I can't decide between the Tiffany ones and the um, JW Anderson like ball earrings. So yeah, I still I still haven't quite made up my mind, but I love these ones for the time being um, until I sort of um, pull the trigger on the Tiffany ones. And then for a watch, this one just snuck in at the very end, but it is my Casio watch. I have the gold version. Um, Casio watch and these are like the retro watches with the um, digital face. I picked this up for like $58 from ASOS so not very expensive at all and I feel like they're actually very well made. Um, you don't have to worry about getting it taken in because they, it comes with an adjustable wrist strap so 
as soon as you receive it, you can just adjust it to your size and then you can wear it. And it just looks so cool, especially with like, you know, Stranger Things being so popular this year. This is just like a really, really cool like um, accessory to have. I love this one and I actually, I feel like I love the silver one more because it's got the like different colors on the face. Like it's got the retro like orange and blue and I just think that is so, so cool. So I'll put the link to this in the info bar. I feel like ASOS is probably the best place to get it from because you sort of want to make sure that what you're getting is authentic. So I check ASOS out first. I'm going to move on to clothing now. Like I've just, I've had so many amazing pieces of clothing that I've shared with you guys in my previous favorites, but two pieces of clothing which I think sums up 2017 for me are these. So the first one is this feminist shirt from Misguided. I love this because it's just a plain black shirt with a slogan writing and it's not too big, not too small and I love that it's actually embroidered rather than a print so you don't have to worry about it sort of rubbing off when you're, when you're washing it. It's just a very, very plain black shirt and I think this might be sold out on um, Misguided but I will try to find alternatives to this in the info bar. And then the other piece of clothing which actually I've just recently purchased from ASOS are these pair of straight leg jeans and these are are the Florence style jeans. I got them in the light wash, but generally this year it's just been straight leg jeans all year. Winter, autumn, summer, spring. It's just like I just have so many pairs. It's it's nuts. I actually need to stop. Um, but these are my favorite pair lately. And the reason why I wanted to share them is because they are the Florence in the petite range from ASOS. So they actually fit me perfectly like a glove. The, the length is perfect. I very rarely get to wear jeans where it's actually hemmed at the bottom. I usually have to cut them to fit me, especially or even fold them up. Um, so these are like the perfect jeans. I'm, I tried to purchase another pair uh, in the exact same cut, but I, it didn't quite look as good as these ones um i don't know i just they didn't look as good but i feel like the length was the same but yeah anyways these are just amazing so i'll put the link to this one especially if you're petite they come in the tall range regular range um they're just really really nice straight leg jeans if you guys are in the market for one and then the final few items are just like beauty favorites and one tech fave i just meant the i'll just mention the tech fave very quickly it is the studio um headphones i was sent this but i've reused them so so much i i use them all the time for the gym they are perfect for running um for editing on the go they're just amazing and they're really, really comfortable. I love that they're Bluetooth, but also the fact that they come with a cord and you can attach them via a headphone jack. So yeah, I just love these. I'll put the link to these in the info bar. It's just nice to be able to find a nice pair of headphones that aren't too big, too cumbersome, and ones that look cute as well. So I mean, like how cute do these look? So cute, right? Anyway, so those are that. And then a few beauty favorites. This one I just received um, and I've shared, I shared it with you guys in a haul video, but it is the Illa Masca Beyond Powder in Oh My God and it is beautiful. It is just the most gorgeous highlight. I think this is literally my holy great highlight at the moment. Um, I haven't found one that I love more. It's just like a pearlescent champagne, pinky, shade and um, it looks really light on swatched on but when you apply it, it looks beautiful and I've been trying to find this sort of shade for the longest time and then it just so happens I was sent it and I was just like blown away so highly highly recommend and if honestly you guys need to check this one out don't just swatch it because I feel like if you swatched it you'd be a bit disappointed because the the swatched payoff isn't as nice. You really need to put it on because I find that with like highlighters, it looks better if you actually put it on your skin than swatching it because I prefer my highlighters to be a little bit more sheer so that it's a lot more buildable, um, which this is. I find that if it swatches a little bit too heavily, it tends to be quite grainy on the skin. It tends to be a little bit like chunky. Anyways, that's my opinion. But yeah, you guys you need do me a favor and check this highlighter out is just amazing and then one lip favorite obviously you guys 
I love like these NYX lip creams. I have about 10 of these colors, um, particularly in Abu Dhabi and London. What I've loved doing with this is actually using it as a mixer. So um, I would mix this in with maybe like this, um, uh, this MAC lipstick in Lady Danger. What I do is I put this on first and then I, I dab this on top and it just like lightens the color it makes it a little bit more pastel-y and it's just really really nice so i mix this with other nyx soft matte lip colors um like the brighter oranges and the brighter reds and i just make a like a nice like um lighter version of that color um it's just a really nice color to wear on its own but also to mix so if you haven't checked these ones out i re really really recommend you do so it's my absolute favorite lip product ever Really, it's been something I've used for like nearly five years now. I never go without having like one of these ones at, on hand. It's just amazing. And then lately I've just been loving this um, Benefit Goosh Proof Brow Pencil. It's a very, very easy to use brow pencil. And um, I just love how it's sort of got this um, slanted design. And yeah, it's just easy. I've just been gravitating towards this quite a lot since I've received it. Um, this is sort of what I'm using on my eyebrows now and it's just like really easy to use and my brows take like one minute to do and yeah I just love this so I thought I'd mention it. Oh and then one final item that I forgot to mention is my Saint Laurent Black Opium. I've had this for a year. I got it in the 50 mil. I, I was, my dad purchased this for me um, as a birthday, as a Christmas present last year and I've loved, loved it. Um, it was actually really nice because our parents don't buy us Christmas presents anymore. So it was really sweet that um, he he bought me something and I actually got this in like a gift pack um, from David Jones, from Maya, I think. And anyways, it's lovely. It's amazing. It's like a very sweet smell, but I actually think it's like a non-offensive sweet smell. It's just, it's just beautiful. Oh, I just love it. I love it so, so much. I, I really want to pick myself up another one, but at the same time, I kind of want to branch out and try other, like, scents. So I, I am torn. I'm sort of just not using it as much anymore, just so that I still have a little bit when I want it. It's just beautiful. It's just really nice for going out as well as, like, daytime. Yeah, I love this one. If you guys have any perfume recommendations, you should let me know because I'm really in the market for a new perfume. Some of my favorites are the um, Bredo Bal de Freak. Um, I also like the um, Oud and Bergamot from, um, from, oh God. Shoot, I forgot. Oh, Oud and Bergamot from... Tony, Tony, Tony Malone? I, does that make sense? Anyways, you guys should let me know what perfume you recommend I try next. That is it for me, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you created a favorites video as well, um, link it to me and I will check it out. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Um, I hope you had an amazing time this Christmas and you got heaps of presents and you were able to spend it with your loved ones and friends. I wish everyone all the best in the coming year in 2018. In 2018, you will probably see less less of me um, on YouTube, but that isn't to say I'm not going to be active on Instagram or on my blog. It's just because I will be seeing my um, final fellowship exams, which is the big, big exams for um, for my medical career. So I really need to buckle down um, and and start studying for it really because. Yeah, this is the last one and I'm done and I just cannot wait. So a little bit nervous but excited at the same time. But it also just means that I, I can't spend as much time on YouTube as I typically do because I really need to prioritize my career at the moment. So I hope you guys don't mind. Um, as always, I'm so, so thankful and I love you guys. Thank you for joining me in this video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week or weekend and I will see you in my next one. Bye.